This goes in the column of things I thought everybody just knew. But I got this question the other day about why Lydia didn't react to the venom of a canima in the appropriately titled season two episode, Venomous. This all started as a Derek Hale big brain plan to discover which of the sexy teens had gone all Lizard King. Derek says to himself one day, self, I bet you if we fed Canima Venom to the folks who I think might be the Canima, they'll be immune, like a snake is immune to its own bite. He then patted himself on the back and brooded an extra five minutes in the mirror as a reward for his excellent thinking. Oh. You know, Jackson, you've always been kind of a snake. And everyone knows a snake can't be poisoned by its own venom. So Derek kidnaps one sexy teen and force feeds it the paralytic venom, and it does exactly what it says on the tin. It paralyzes the tested teen. Well, Derek thinks in his big brain, the venom worked. So this is not the sexy teen we're looking for. Maybe it's this one over here, the smart one. Aha! She ate the chemistry class rock candy and didn't get paralyzed. Ipso factoid, she must be the secret lizard. She failed the test. Yeah, which doesn't prove anything. Lydia's different. I know. At night, she turns into a homicidal walking snake. Just a quick side note here. Something I realized while recording this is that Derek doesn't actually get smart until after his brains and body get scrambled in Kate's temple tomb down in Mexico. Up until that point in season four, he really is just kind of stumbling around making a series of bad decisions. Don't worry, you're still an alpha. But, as usual, I'm not a particularly competent one. How dare you! You suck! Why do you hurt me? Anyway, back to season two. She failed the test. Derek thinks his little science experiment is beyond a reasonable doubt, death penalty level proof that Lydia is the Canima. Those of us watching know that is not the case, because we have been paying a little bit of attention to the show so far. What if she's immune? What if she's got something inside of her that makes her immune to the bite, which, which is why she didn't get paralyzed? No one's immune. We've never seen it or heard of it. At this point in the story, we're not 100% sure what Lydia's deal is, but we know she's not affected by Peter's bite. It made a wound which healed normally without a hint of any supernatural shenanigans. Physically, physically, it was like any normal dog bite. So we already witnessed that one of the most transformative things in this universe, the bite of an alpha werewolf had zero physical effect on Lydia. We can probably extrapolate from that that a little venom from a malformed werewolf isn't going to do anything either. This is a perk of Lydia's banshee lineage. They are humans who can touch the supernatural world, but they're not a part of it, and they cannot be physically changed by it. That is not to say that a canima or something else can't hurt Lydia. Like I said, Peter's bite was painful and probably infected, and it came with a number of mental side effects. And while a cannabis venom won't paralyze Lydia, a deep stab with cannabis claws can certainly nick an artery and cause her to bleed out. 